Hey everyone, here we are with our second attack map on Docker containers. Today, we will be tackling with the compromise process running on our host machine. So, we are going to cover everything you need to know. So, why wait? Let us get started. So, the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new terminal, as always, okay? Now, what we are going to do is generate a process that is supposed to be running on the host machine. So we are basically utilizing a command, okay, that is this. So you can see we have a command, okay. So with while is true, okay. So this is a loop that keeps printing out that super important process running with the process ID and it is going to sleep for every three seconds. So let us generate, okay. So once this is done, let us now generate so I'm just using a printf statement to create a script, okay, using this command, okay, which is going to let it run. Now, once done, let us run the super important process that was just created and we will going to fetch the process ID. So this is my script, okay, and enter. So this is going to, since as I already told it's a loop, we keep getting it in a loop format so it says super important process running with the process id and this is the host machine okay now let us open another terminal okay and launch docker container and we are going to mount the process id of the host machine that we just saw onto our docker container and thereby also run with a privilege flag so this privilege flag basically is going to enable the 44 syscall. So to those of you who don't know, Docker basically restrict the use of certain kernel, that is the system calls, that is what we call as syscalls, okay, including 44, in order to enhance the security and maintain the stability of the containerized environment, okay. So by going with a privilege flag, this 44 syscall is enabled now so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to use docker run command okay with our favorite int okay and then we are going to use the process id okay that's pid which is definitely our host and then we are using the privilege flag and i'm using the I'm fine image okay so we are in now so what I'm going to do that is inside the Alpine docker container is now to kill the process that is running in my host machine so I just say kill okay and this is my process ID so I can say 2792 and boom it gets terminated on my host machine so this is where we have to be extremely careful while mounting the ports or services or anything else to the docker container. If the container can gain access okay, to our container, just like what we saw now, using that in cases of insecure configurations like this, there is no point of isolation. So attacker can easily get access to multiple services, applications or say everything onto the host machine. So this demonstration, okay, sheds some light on how compromise on a process running within the host machine can occur. So understanding these vulnerabilities is so crucial for implementing a robust security measures to safeguard against such threats. That's a wrap on our second attack map where we basically tackled the compromise process running on the host machine. Thanks for being part of this. Keep your eyes peeled because we got a lineup of thrilling attack maps queued up for you. Stick around, you won't want to miss what's next. See you again then. Bye bye.